One of the most common stories that I hear from people who reach out to me is the following. I'm really stuck. I'm tired and I'm about to burn out. I've rebuilt this product six times and we've had 10,000 people download it or 10 million people sign up, but we just can't monetize. I don't know what to do or what to build to get people to pay for our product. So then I just ask them two very basic questions. What's your value proposition? And what problem are you trying to solve? Their response is of course, a head scratch, followed by, what do you mean? We built this thing and they point to the product. So I try to dig in a little bit deeper and ask them, well, what's the problem what, that you're trying to solve? But they're just not sure. It's composed of a lot of features. So then I move on to asking them, well, who are your customers? And they respond once again with something generic like, women? And that's when I have to tell them, stop building. Don't build anything anymore. And they look at me because they're baffled. And they say, you're an engineer. Why are you telling us not to build anything? And I have to say, your problem is not that you don't know how to build a product or that you don't know how to get people to try it out. The problem is that you don't know how to convey the value of your product to people. So you don't have an engineering problem, which is why I don't want you to build anything anymore. I want you to think about running an experiment. I'll explain the specifics of the experiment in the next lecture, but for now, I want you to understand two concepts. The first concept is called an early adopter. An early adopter is someone who is eager to try things, and that's their mindset. As a result, they're open to trying new products, solutions to acute problems, and having interesting experiences. And they do not expect a fully polished product. If you contrast this to a mainstream customer, they need a lot of validation. And you'll hear that when they say, well, I've got to hear it from several friends, or they'll need to see that the company's manufacturing the product, or they want to know that you have several seals of approval or that you've been around for a while. So before you have built up any credibility as a company or build a product, you'll need to focus on attracting the early adopters, people who are willing to pay to use your product despite what it might mean in terms of the lack of features or however many bugs it might have in it. The second concept is called value proposition. You are proposing that a customer can expect to receive a certain experience or benefit from your product or service in exchange for a certain amount of money. Notice that this definition does not include my product has X, Y, and Z feature. So before building anything, it's important to understand who the early adopter of your product is and what the value proposition of your product is. In the next lecture, I will explain how to run an experiment in order to figure out who your early adopters are and what your startup idea's value proposition is.